once you understand all the important hooks of react let's take a look at how you can create your own custom hook in the react application a custom hook is a javascript function that begins with yours it is not mandatory to begin a custom hook name with yours but without it react would be unable to check for violation of the hooks rules automatically therefore it is important to follow that naming convention hook is just like a react component but with some more features building your own hook lets you to extract component logic into reusable functions let me show you a very simple example at the top let me first import the use state because we are using use state in the hook and then inside this component inside this app component right here i'm going to say constant toggle and set toggle and then specify the initial value to the state which is false and inside this return statement inside this div i'm going to first add h1 heading tag and then specify here use state and this toggle value just after that i'm going to create a button just down here and specify on click event on it you can see the on click event is going to call this set toggle function and i'm going to invert the value of this toggle by clicking on this button this is a very simple use of this use state hook. let me just save the changes i'm going to have the result something like this when i click on this toggle state it's going to change the value of the state you can notice now let's suppose that i want to use this component feature in my other component in that case i can create a custom hook i can share the same logic using reusable functions so, so let me just create a custom hook right down here i'm going to create a custom hook so let me just name this custom hook toggle i'm going to say constant use toggle as i said to create a custom hook you need to start your function with use name so we have this use and the function name which is toggle is equal to and then we specify here the arrow function just for that to this arrow function i'm going to specify the initial value as you know here we have the parameter to specify initial value to the state so we create here initial value parameter right inside this parenthesis i'm going to pass parameter to this use toggle hook so i'm going to say here initial state and then if you want you can specify default value to this initial state as well so i'm going to specify default value here false so if you forgot to specify argument to this use toggle hook then we have this default value to this initial state just for that right here i'm going to say constant in the array call toggle and set toggle is equal to and call use state hook here inside the custom hook you can call any react built-in hook so i'm going to call here use state and here the default value is the initial value so i'm going to pass this initial state here just for that right down here you can return an array with toggle and set toggle and now you can use this toggle and this set toggle in your component so what you have to do is you have to call this use toggle and specify that instead of this use state something like this now when you save the changes click on this toggle button you can see you're going to have the same result but with custom hook now let me just enhance this example we can wrap this set toggle into a use callback function so right down here i can say constant toggle change is equal to use callback keep in mind you have to import this use callback at the top right here and then you can call this use callback inside your hook just for that as you know this use callback will return the memoise version of the callback that only changes if one of the input has changed it means this callback function is only going to execute when the value of the toggle changes otherwise it will not going to return anything so this will improve the application performance i'm going to call a callback function and say set toggle and then pass here toggle an arrow function and then invert the value so instead of inverting the value inside this component i'm going to invert the toggle value inside the user inside the custom hub just after that once you've done that you can copy this toggle change and specify that right here and instead of this set toggle you can call toggle change and then specify that to this on click so instead of this callback function you can just directly specify toggle change now when i save the changes click on this button you can see i'm going to have the same result but with the custom hook now you can use this custom hook anywhere in any component if you want to add a toggle feature to your component you just have to add this one statement and that will add this feature to your component now the main advantage of react hook 
is reusability of stateful logic. Now, let me show you one more example. Now, let's suppose that you want to filter a list of users. So, for example, at the top, let's suppose that you have a list of users. You can get this list from the backend as well. That's up on you. I'm going to have a simple array of object and we have some values here. Just out of that, what I want, I want to filter this list when I click on this button. I'm simply going to back to my hook right down here and then I'm going to change these values. I'm going to say here friend and set friend. And then I'm going to call here use state and the initial value. Right now, the initial value is empty array. So I'm going to pass empty array here. Just out of that, inside this use callback, right here, instead of this set toggle, I'm going to get rid of this here a function something like this and then inside this use callback i'm simply going to call this friend dot filter i'm using javascript filter method to filter the object and then inside it i'm going to say obj iterate over all this object and then get obj dot name if it is equal to this argument value so to this callback right here if i specify parameter name here and then if the object dot name if it is equal to name then return that to this set friends so let me copy this and then specify that right here and i'm going to grab this statement and specify that inside this parenthesis and just for that i also want to pass the second argument to this use callback so i'm going to pass here a comma and pass an array so i'm just informing react that this callback is not depends on anything if you want you can pass this initial value right here as well that's upon you just for that instead of this toggle change now i'm going to say here filter change and just for that instead of toggle right now i'm going to say here friend and call here filter change and specify that right here so this is a very simple hook now just for that let me save the changes and back to the app.js right here what i want i want to call this so now instead of use toggle, I'm going to name this use filter. And now what you have to do is you have to copy this use filter and specify that right here. So you have to just call the use filter hook function and then specify the initial value to it. As you know, the initial value is empty array. So we have this array here, array of object. I'm going to pass that right here, friend list. So this will just initialize this value with this friend list. Just for that. It will iterate over that value and return with this array. Copy this array and specify that right here. I'm going to get both these values and just out of that, let me get rid of this. And inside a console.log, I'm simply going to print this friend. And inside this on click, I'm going to specify this filter change. So let me get rid of this, call here a function, specify filter change. And inside this parenthesis, as you know, we have this name. So we need to pass value here. So in the single code, I'm going to specify here this third value. Now let me save the changes. Now let me open the console. Right now, I have three arrays inside this object. But when I click on this toggle state, you can see I'm going to have the filter array from this up. So this is going to filter the array and return third object from this list. You're not limited to only use this for filtering the array or using toggle change in your component. Instead, you can do many things with custom hooks, just like fetching backend data and display it on the front end, our event listener, passing information between hooks, and much more. So you can do many things with custom hooks. So I hope you understand how to create a custom hook in the React application. That's it. I cover all the important hooks and a custom hook of React Native. If you find anything useful, make sure to press the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.